My name is Edmond Yekani, Executive Director of SEPO. I would like to take this opportunity to inform the public that we as an organization, in partnership with the leadership of the Finance Committee in our National Legislative Assembly, have agreed to hold public hearing on our national budget for the financial year 2024-2025 and this public hearing is to scrutinize the budget from the length of um, civil society and also i wish that the public should attend that day on the 30th in the parliament building where i will have an open public hearing on our national budget so you can scrutinize the allocation of various uh, spending uh, figures to our various public institutions at national level, at the state level, and that may also cover our county level and the level of taxes that are created in our financial bill for the financial year 2024-2025. So as a civil society, we will be engaged in mobilizing our fellow civil society leaders in terms of youth groups, women groups, media, academia, and then think tank organizations, faith-based leaders. So we'll be all coming together and to scrutinize the budget and to propose our idea our opinion on various budget items that are allocated in our uh, financial year budget 2024-2025 so I'd like to urge the public that this is a positive development and I would like to appreciate the leadership of the finance committee in the parliament that this is the way how we make governance to be inclusive how we make governance also to be citizen interest focused we thank the leadership of the finance committee for availing us that opportunity to take the lead within our program of transparency governance to make sure that citizen in behalf of um citizen civil society are involved in scrutinizing the allocation of different uh, proposed uh, pro ideas around building a national budget for the financial year 2024-2025. We are aware that this budget is an estimation now require commitment of various revenue authorities of the public to generate this revenue including donors, including development partners, including our civil society to work together to deliver the aspiration enshrined in the budget. Thank you very much.